All right, so this time I have two new prototypes. These are from my RC Mart. Uh, these are RCX motors. I don't know yet uh, what series they're gonna call them, so I'm just gonna call them RS2306, 2700 kV and 2400 kV. So these ones were made uh, to follow on the trend of having the naked bottom base. So as you can see, pretty minimal base on these. They've incorpor incorporated all the features that the previous RS line had, plus uh, uh, some of the newer features that the latest motors uh, are coming up with as far as uh, retaining screw for the shaft. They're using high quality ESO bearings, I believe they are. I'm gonna put them in the magnifying glass just to, to see what they are. Single piece shaft, hollow all the way through, let's check. Uh, yeah, seems to be hollow all the way through, so that's good. So, anyways, they sent them because they, you know they wanna they wanted to compare them to the other premium motors and just to make sure that they're getting pretty good performance out of these, so that it's comparable with the other motors. It makes sense. They wanna make sure the motors are performing on par with the other premium motors. Let's see what this weigh, and these come with uh, 150 millimeters worth of wire. I'm gonna weigh them with that, and this one's the 2400 kV motor. So let's see what it weighs. 33.6. Uh, so if we get rid of uh, 100, um, uh, 300 millimeters worth of wire actually. So that's 2.6. So the motor weighs about 31 grams. So not the lightest, lightest, but 31 grams is it's pretty good. Uh, these are, you know, uh, um, my RC, RC Mart and RCX are usually low budget motors. Uh, they're known for their value, uh, good performance for like the lowest price. Same weight, 33.6, so 31 grams. So 31 grams is, is pretty it's pretty good, I would say, uh, for a low budget motor, uh, considering you get pretty good components usually. And the other good thing about uh, RCX motors uh, is almost always they, they'll have uh, spare parts. Like for instance, you can buy the bell uh, with the magnets and shaft. You could pick up uh, spares. So people usually will buy motors and they'll pick up a spare, a couple of spares uh, uh, bells. So let's uh, crack it open and let's see what it looks like inside. The screw they're using seems to be pretty pretty good quality not the not those that are easily uh, uh, you know messed up when you're trying to and they did use uh, thread lock so that's good yeah it looks like it's 16 by 16 base for for all four for all four uh, holes mount holes and base is pretty pretty small so, so you have to be careful when you when you mount them as you can see you gotta make sure you definitely gotta make sure you don't you don't use too long bolts and that's true for a lot of the motors that are coming out with this type of base minimal base but the one thing is that it, it's very easy to when you're mounting it it's very easy to look at look straight and you'll see you'll see if the if the um, if the bolts are going past where they shouldn't be so so that's a big plus on this type of bases they make it really easy to see so all right let's uh let's look at the um, the motor close up okay so here's the bell uh, as usual dynamically balanced magnets uh, most likely N52 magnets, uh, high temp, and they are curved. They seem to be kind of thin, though. So, as you can see, they're not—they don't look as chunky as the RS magnets. So we'll see how that—we'll uh, see how that uh, behaves some, as far as performance on the thrust stand. That, um, that's going to be kind of interesting to see. Uh, and but I'm also not sure exactly what kind of magnets these are. I'm assuming N52s. Um, shaft is the usual four millimeters. So yeah, four millimeters for the shaft. And the bearings, they're Japanese ESO bearings. 
looks like these are the usual size 9 uh, 4 by 9 by 4 it looks like they are so that's that's pretty good uh, pretty good uh, standard size they didn't go they didn't go for the smaller bearings that uh, it seems like a lot of manufacturers are going now for the uh, 4 by 8 by 3 bearings there we can see pretty good uh, job on the windings single strand wire pretty neat the stator is six millimeters so this is a this is a 2306 uh, looks like 0 0.02 or 0 0.15 laminations there you go six millimeters no surprises there so we'll see how this performs uh, this is the 2400 so uh, you know these are prototypes so they still don't have the uh, the labeling so I have to mark it there so I don't get confused uh, so 2700 is pretty much the same you know it's just gonna have less copper on it so okay that was a quick overview uh, again uh, keep in mind these are prototypes and so these are like the very early versions of uh, this motor and they're still fine-tuning them so uh, they wanted to see results as far as uh, KV and, and trust. Once they release them, uh, they're going to send me the, the final version so I can test it again. So it could very well be these are going to be very close to the final or they might change them still. So keep that in mind. Uh, at this point, these are prototypes. So, so anyway, uh, let's look at the uh, trust results and see how these do. All right, so here we have the trust test results for the my RC Mart RCX 2306 2400 kV. As I mentioned before, I 
don't know if they're going to call it uh, RS or if they're going to introduce a new series. So the motor tested at 2500 kV, a little bit higher than the 2400 uh, spec, uh, but that's not a bad thing. 2500 is a pretty good uh, kV value anyway. So I went ahead and tested on 4S and uh, as usual I ran the one prop on 5S uh, just to see what the motor can do on 5S. So the motor is actually performing quite well, uh, very much on par with uh, other motors on this size category. So overall the motor is performing uh, pretty good uh, and as I mentioned this is a prototype so they may still uh, do some minor changes. Uh, so now let's look at the 2700 kV motor. And these are the results for the 2700 kV version. Uh, this one actually measured at 2850, uh, quite a bit higher than the spec 2700 kV. Uh, so that, uh, that increase is noticeable. Uh, as you can see, the motor is clearing 1600 with uh, 5045 BN uh, two blade prop and it's clearing 1600 easily almost reaching 1700 with the 5043 by 3 prop definitely didn't want to test this on 5S because uh, it, it'll it'll just smoke something either my ESC the thrust stand or the motor itself uh, just too high a KV for for the thrust stand and uh, on the heavier 5 inch props uh, it's clearing 1700 easily course this comes at a cost of high amps so this one you'll definitely need a good battery if they leave it as is but I imagine they're gonna lower the kV a little bit so that it's closer to 2700 the 6 inch prop is reached 2000 grams so 2 kilograms of thrust at 66 amps so so remember uh, multiply this by roughly 0 0.7 0 0.65 and it'll give you the max burst uh, that you might be able to see on in flight so that, that's just going to be a momentary bu burst. Uh, so sustain in flight is going to be quite a lot lower than 35% of that. So it could be even up to 40%. So anyway, uh, that's uh, the test for these two prototypes. Uh, pretty pretty exciting new motors as the as RCX and my RC Mark enter the uh, the naked bottom uh, trend. And uh, as expected from this company, they they're always giving pretty good value. For the money, so the you know they're known for bringing up pretty good motors, uh, very well performing motors for very low price. So this one's an, uh, one to keep an eye on, uh, and uh, hopefully, hopefully they'll you know they'll be as good as uh, the RS twenty two hundred six. Uh, that was quite successful motor. Uh, still is pretty ranking pretty high up there uh, in performance. So this should be available pretty soon, I think. Uh, if not available yet, I haven't checked yet. Uh, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, until the next video.